WTFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials right now up 240 points. You get the NASDAQ up 96. S&Ps are up 43. That's a percentage gain inside the NASDAQ as well as the S&P is 1.2 percent. Dow Industrials, 9 tenths of 1 percent. But guess what, folks? You are setting up a B to C of more than likely a large ABC structure on the way down. What do we have out here? You've come down, you know, if we just bring this back a few days. First, you come down at 142 million, then we did uh, 116, and then yesterday was the monster out here, 178. You're bouncing on uh, 82 million bottom line. Yeah, this uh, S&P right now is at 287. Yeah, it can get to about two, even 95. Uh, it looks to me like you get a B to C of a much larger ABC structure on the way down. Gold contract won't give it up. Gold contract's up six bucks, trading 14.82. You have volume behind the move. You go over and take a look at this gold contract. When you're looking at gold, gold is making the run for the $1,750 area. I broke a B point, broke it with volume. Bottom line, that sets up. Um, I don't have the exact number offhand right now. I will have it as soon as I start the show. Uh, bottom line, though, gold, 1752. That's your next swing point. It's going after it. Notes and bonds, guess what? You take a look at this 10-year yield. What you're going to see out here is that we ripped down to the 1.71, which was the week of the election in 2016. Uh, bottom line, it took that apart in about a heartbeat. Uh, what is that saying? That's saying we're going to go after the lows. The lows being 1.31 yield. We hit 1.67 last night. We're trading at 1.73 right now. Uh, they're all large ABC structures on the way down in the yield, on the way up in price. King dollar. What do you have with king dollar? Bottom line, king dollar. It failed at, at its highs. King dollar right now uh, is trading at a price point of, there she is, uh, we're at 97 uh, 435, bottom line, 16,000 uh, contracts out here. Uh, King Dollar looks like it's going to be making its way down to the 94 mark. You get a lot of um, basically volatility inside, of course, the currency market, inside the metals market, as well as inside the S&P. If we go back and take a look at the NDX 100, you're going to see the same type of setup inside the NDX, meaning you come down on vicious volume and uh, we're bouncing with light volume. And yeah, you can get a bounce going there. The end queues right now, the three, the three queues rather, at 233. That can actually get a bounce going up to the, about the 189, which would be quite a bounce. Uh, bottom line, it, it can be done, but it's sticking out like a sore thumb, that high volume low from yesterday. And uh, bottom line, this looks to me like next six, eight weeks, whatever you have there, uh, meaning going forward, 